Welcome back to the News at 10. Uh, over 2,000 illegal migrants have been repatriated within the last six months by the Kaduna State Command of the Nigerian Immigration Service. A state's controller of immigration, Nuhu Apang Takum, who disclosed this to Channel Television, said most of the illegal migrants who were from neighboring countries had entered Nigeria without valid travel documents. Mr. Apang Takum also explained that the illegal foreigners were arrested by his men in different parts of the state with no means of identification. We had uh, radically taken internal security as part of our hallmarks. Through the instrument of our stop and search checkpoints in Dankande, Hunkui, and some other strategic entry points in Kaduna State, which we set up to enhance internal monitoring and security monitoring. And uh, since then, we have repatriated close to over 2,000. Niger Republic precisely dominates the number. But we equally have some from um, uh, Chad, Mali, Ghana, uh, uh, Cameroon and uh, a host of them like that. But besides that, those from the Western world, we occasionally we have one or two who have overstayed their welcome, overstayed their entry documents or visas, and we either they get them corrected or where they fall short of the immigration regulations, we get them out of the country. Uh, we are stepping down because uh, now the, the services that are going through challenges which uh, the good government of Nigeria is trying to reposition the service and by the time we are through with it, uh, we will resume radically. And now to the arts. Projecting art creations by renowned African artists who was the focus, focal point of the 2015 West African Investors Night of the Stanwyck IBTC Bank tagged Fine Arts and the Acts. The event, which held in Lagos, featured carefully selected visual art, live music, and comedy, among other thrilling activities. Our review tonight captures some of those moments. It's a special evening of art. An evening set aside by the Moving Forward Bank to showcase the new works of these veteran artists, Professor Bruce Onobrakwea, Victor Ehika Meno, and the selection of prize works of Fola Adeola and Dotun Sulaiman, curated by Ugo Madegoke. For us, art actually is an expression of who we are. Africa is a very colorful place. Um, Nigeria is an extremely colorful place. And we believe that um, understanding people, understanding the environment, understanding art um, helps us provide the relevant products and services. Here we find that the mix between business and the arts makes a lot of sense. I mean, if you think about the creativity and the innovation involved in art and in creating it and delivering it, it talks to what we do as a business, where we bring that mastery and creativity to serving our various clients. For Stanbic IBTC Bank putting together this art event, which they say is first of its kind in Africa, gives clients a platform to showcase their works, hence having to gain exposure. Art is uh, growing to become part of the life of the people and um, the importance of art is being dropped into the ears of a lot of people and uh, with this kind of thing, other people are going to be encouraged to do more in, in, order, in, in a way to create more awareness and um, that will take the art up and up and eventually it becomes a very powerful instrument in our, in, 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 in our life. When you create a very like this, for more people to see, first of all, the, the artists see, get more exposure and also it has inspired other people to want to collect as well. And that makes the whole thing, you know, just better. I mean, uh, more collectors, better exposure uh, for the artists as well, yeah. It's, it's amazing, you know. Uh, you've got paintings, you've got comedy, you've got music, you've got uh, any type of, uh, of uh, art you can think of. So, I feel privileged. The evening which had in attendance veteran artists, bankers and customers did not just have artworks only to interact with. There were other relaxing moments of live music and comedy.
Okemesi community in Ekiti State is known for the Ekiti Parapo War of 1877, which led to the libera liberation of other Yoruba communities from the stronghold of Ibadan warlords. It was also noted for the highest number of PhD holders in Ekiti State due to the early influence of Western education. On our community report tonight, our correspondent Chris Lems look at the current situation in the community. About 125 years ago, this land was a battlefield for warriors in Ekiti. And one man who started the opposition is Fabumi, an illustrious son of Okimesi. Today, his statue adorns the very point this community started from a very long time ago. This is in honor of his heroic part in the Ekiti War of 1877 to 1886. He started the war. You see, the, you, you, about that time we are having uh, Ibadan people as uh, uh, here. And to honor him, you know, he led the Ekiti War. That's how the, the FG is there. So he's our hero here. Mm. In fact, we, there is a grammar school here. We named after him. Here is the campsite of the brave warriors, and today, a monument erected stands conspicuous in honor of the generals who led the war. The Owa Oye of Ukemesi is the paramount ruler of the community, and he sheds more light on the life of the people. Our people are very, very sociable. Uh, that separates us slightly from the core Ekiti people. Their early embrace of Western education contributed to their prominence in the state. However rustic or new the roof over their heads may be, they gave education its pride of place. This resulted in almost every home producing at least a PhD holder. Our people were the first set of people to be exposed to Western education or rather to embrace Western education. That's why today, I don't know whether you might have heard it, that uh, Okimesi had the largest number of professors in the then Ondo and the Ikiti state come together. I don't know the situation now because I also know that ed education in Ikiti state has, has no dive to the extent that even the most state now has more professors than Ikiti. Even state like Benue now, they now have more professors than Ikiti. I, I say this all the time, in times of academics, we appear to be living on its past glory. The story of the people of Okemesi and the Ekitik Barako War is not complete without a visit to Imesile, a neighboring town in Oshun State, where the battle was said to have been fiercest. And hopefully, on our next visit to Oshun State, we'll save you that dose. Chris Elims, Channels Television News. Still ahead on the news at 10, Great Britain advances to the Davis Cup final for the first time in 37 years. That's in sports news. Stay with us.